So, final race, and uh, we seem to be down to four boats, but uh, of those four boats, three of them were in the, uh, in the leading teams. Uh, the points actually worked out with five teams all on the same point, so it would have been a great final race, but what we have got is uh, it's a three-way match race, so great, let's see how this goes. Uh, so we've got Jorge, we've got McGovern, and we've got uh, um, Dylan Fletcher, Alan Sign. Um, I'm, I'm excited, uh, really excited to see who wins this. I mean, I'm, uh, it's a lot more room on the race course now, so it's going to be, I think, I think the games have been on the, uh, uh, going out to the left off the start line, so I'd be surprised if the two port tackers do well. Uh, let's go see the significance. I don't think we will have got. I'd, uh, I'd expect Jorge to come out of this in the lead. I think in style on starboard he will uh, win the race. Well, that's my prediction anyway, but what do I know? Uh, so coming up to the start gun, uh, we've got 15 seconds to go. Two boats lining up on port. Uh, again, of those two boats, Matt McGovern will be in the lower boat. He's probably going to be first out to that uh, the first Four, attack. Three, two, two one, nine. go. So here we go. Portugal out into the lead. Passing out of all that, all those starting positions there. Still the one. And Matt now can just get his tack in. Then uh, he'll be going around. Easy uh, tack cross on Dylan. Remember, with this race course, the bottom boot can call room to tack. There we go. He's going to tack. He's tacking to quite a lot of pressure there. Bad tack from Ireland. You know, Mike Grady could have done a better tack. In fact, in fact, Mike Grady can do a better tack than that. So here we are. We've got Portugal crossing Dylan Fletcher. Easy cross and, uh, well, I rest my case. There we go. It's going to be uh, Portugal away in the lead and uh, maybe I should take up Cody again. Uh, Dylan Fletcher, uh, he's starting to step forward now. Ryan's looking pretty stumped after the attack. He just goes to show you get that tack wrong. The rhythm goes completely. Everything is sailing now. That pressure is lifting a little bit. So he's just pulling back in. Easy lay now for these guys. They're just going to uh, just drop a little bit of height. Nice jive set from these guys. They're away. Dylan Lallan jive set as well. So, little option here. If Dylan can get down on Jorge's hip, he might be able to jive when they jive and uh, get in front. There you go, going automatic. Good jive. Okay, looks like these guys might be uh, might be down and through. They've still got to do another jive for the mark, so Jorge's going to take the go left, go right mark rather. Uh, he missed an opportunity there. He should have jived early. Oh, he should have jived big... early. Dylan got in front of them nice and easy. That was a mistake downwind from Portugal. Massive mistake. He was missing a little bit of a lack of confidence there. If that had been uh, Ica Martinez, he wouldn't have happened. And if he had happened, he'd have jived and gone back for the other mark. But instead, he's going to follow in these boats and eat their dirt. Dylan is off. He's clear. He's just got to sail to finish now to win this race. The only man that can stop him is himself. Apart from that, we've got Ireland run. Zero just put the boat to a little bit of a pinch boat. He's going to tack first. He's going to let the boat rip now. He's going to sail fast. Another bad tack. If I was their coach, I would be saying, what are these guys doing when they're training? Because they're clearly not practicing tacks. Dylan is, uh, wow, it's an easy race now. Just going to milk the, milk, the, milk the crowd. He's going to love the crowd. Unfortunately, there is no crowd, but if there were here, they'd be cheering his name. Anyway, moving back. Looks like, um, I think like Jorge's got, a, got it, an inside line. Here. Looks, like he's, he's, uh, looks like he's lifting off the uh, Irish team now. He's probably going to be an easy cross there, but he's still got to do two tacks that went for Mark. He's going to carry on past Ireland. He's then going to have to come back on port, attack inside Ireland if he's going to get around this little mark in front of them. Dylan bearing off a little bit. He's on the ley line now. Smooth tack for these guys. 
they're away and close. Okay, it's all on this now for second place. Tack inside for Portugal. He's going to put pressure on himself at the hoist here. He has got the inside line for the jive set though, which is uh, basically going to force, force Ireland off the other side of the course. Ireland's gone high specifically to get the jive in inside. Jive set here it's for these guys. The cruise. It's all on the cruise. Wasted an opportunity there. He's went high to get the jive in inside oh. and just, well, to be honest, I'm not that fussed about the, uh, the jive itself. I was just really disappointed by the point they chose to put the jive in in the first place. They lost the opportunity. It's an easy win here. Dylan Fletcher Allenside will take the stadium race in Weymouth. Bad start, but two consecutive bullets from the team with the great bear on their sail. Well, great result for the guys. Well done. Second place is going to be Jorge from uh, Portugal. Great result for these guys. They sailed really well. And Ireland, well, a team found wanting. They probably echoed their position in Europe as a top contest. Not good enough, gentlemen. We'll see you next time, hopefully with a few teams having improved.